So I've been, uh, I've been struggling with cutting back on caffeine for the past few weeks. This is decaf, by the way. Did you see? Did you see in the beginning sequence? I actually use this. So Tim Hortons decaf definitely tastes pretty good. Not sponsored. But I've been trying to cut back on caffeine for a really, really long time now. Definitely like two months or so. I'm caught between either two or three cups a day. Three cups is too much. I would love it if two cups were my maximum. Currently, I'm at where two cups of caffeinated coffee actually makes me feel pretty good and makes me feel pretty normal. I want to get to the point where having one cup makes me feel normal and that second cup is more of like a treat. So let's see, decaf's gonna help me. We've, uh, we finally broke the whole winter weather type thing here in the New York area. It's actually pretty nice. It's still pretty windy though. I don't mind it though, as long as it is not, as long as it's not crazy cold or crazy rain. I mentioned this in a couple of videos already. I'm just tired of complaining about the weather. I can't, I can't take myself anywhere sometimes. So the whole point of drinking decaf is actually to trick your brain into thinking you're having a cup of coffee so you're not actually breaking the habit of drinking something hot that tastes really good. It's so that you don't have to worry about A, caffeine withdrawals, and B, you have to break the habit of actually drinking coffee during the day, which for a lot of us is very relaxing. It's, it's part of our, it just gets us out more. And I really enjoy the whole coffee culture in cities like New York or really just in America. But with that being said, it's also very easy to get super addicted to caffeine. And that is just not a good thing to be a, been there, done that, still still there doing that. It's just not fun when you're addicted to something, anything really. So that place across the street, I normally get coffee there maybe in the afternoon, but the problem is, like I said, see, there it is right there. It's a nice little area, but I am trying to cut back on caffeine and I'm already two cups deep, so can't do it today. Can't do it. Maybe another day. It is not easy to not order a third cup of coffee. Normally I do when I go out and I get lunch or a late breakfast or anything like that, but gotta keep the goal in mind. The goal is one cup to feel normal and that second cup is gonna be an extra one. No more than two cups per day. Normal, it's gonna be one cup a day. Just gotta do it. Gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable. So that's uh, that whole outside sequence, or most of that outside sequence is actually shot with this camera, this tripod, and this microphone, and a little bit with my phone. But I decided I wanted to take this camera out just because it's a little bit lighter, significantly cheaper than this camera, and this one could also fit in your pocket. But I don't know how I feel about it because you really gotta 
hold it all the way out there in order to actually get a good viewing angle. It's such a such a tight lens. It's like vlogging with a 28 or 30 millimeter lens after you turn on the stabilization. And the standard stabilization is just trash on this anyway. But cheap camera, I don't know. Anyway, quitting coffee, why am I doing it? So actually way back in 2019, I completely gave up coffee altogether and it was pretty painful because I just decided I'd just one day just went from three or four cups a day to nothing and I got headaches, I was tired, it was, I felt like I could sleep for like a thousand years or something crazy like that. Now what ended up happening, I obviously went back to drinking coffee because I drink coffee every day now, but I found that when drinking coffee for, or rather when quitting coffee, I was still using decaf a lot, I really just, wanted that cup of coffee really bad. I never broke that habit of actually, well, I don't have my cup with me. I have my water with me now, but I never broke that habit of actually drinking coffee every day. And I was okay with that, but I only lasted three months until I actually drank that really real caffeinated cup of coffee. And then I fell right back into the three, four, five cups a day. Work got busy at the time and uh, same cycle, right? I found what works for me is if I can keep the amount of coffee that I drink to one cup a day or keep it in a very low amount, I still get to enjoy my coffee. I still get to really enjoy it every day, but I also know how to not let it go overboard. It, because if I tell myself, oh, you know, you're, you can never have coffee ever again, that's only gonna make me want coffee more. And that's the same probably with dieting, sweets, or, or you know, kicking bad habits. If you tell yourself that you can never do it ever again, it's only gonna want, you to want it even more. It's like saying, don't think about the color red, but the first thing you think about. So it is an uncomfortable thing to do if you are a standard coffee drinker like me to cut back on coffee. Maybe you wanna to go to no coffee. Maybe you wanna go down to one. Maybe you're at 10 cups and you just wanna cut back down to five cups. That's what I would recommend. Take it slow and actually cut down slower. Don't just be cold turkey like I did four or five years ago. Avoiding headaches. Headaches is the worst thing about caffeine withdrawal. Brain fog, you kind of kind of goes away pretty fast. Sleepiness takes a couple days, but it goes away. But those headaches, if you have a headache from caffeine withdrawal, it is one of the worst headaches that you could ever have. It's probably the closest thing to a migraine that I've experienced, honestly. But the main thing for me that I'm gonna be trying to avoid is headaches. If I'm a bit tired, and like me today, I was quite tired before when I got back from that little, you know, I just got back a little while ago, I'm probably gonna take a nap soon just because I either am gonna have a cup of coffee or take a nap. And I don't wanna have another cup of coffee today. It's already pretty late in the day to do that. I would recommend if you were gonna to try to cut back on coffee, just try to avoid those headaches, cut back one cup at a time, drink a lot of water, make sure you're staying hydrated. Don't get too, don't get too reliant on Advil and Tylenol. Definitely use them as a last resort if you've got a splitting headache, but just cut back one at a time. Utilize decaf coffee, and it should help you get to the point where you're actually cutting back and drinking a lot less coffee or the amount that you actually want. Benefits of drinking less coffee. Less bathroom trips. It's a big one for me, especially if I'm out in Manhattan. There's not a bathroom available all the time. Much better sleep. That's awesome. We can all use much better quality sleep and longer hours of sleep less tiredness throughout the day. I find that when I'm drinking a lot of coffee, I get really wired for you know a certain portion and then I crash hard just an hour or two later. So instead of my energy levels going really high and really low and really high and really low, it just goes a little bit like that, a little bit like that. It's a lot lower highs and higher lows. It's not as drastic like I'm riding a big roller coaster of energy like that. It's just more of like, okay, I'm a little tired. I'm a little bit wired, I'm a little bit tired. That's something that I found and that's what I'm trying trying to get back to. Finally, the main benefit of either cutting back on caffeine to a minimal amount or none altogether is it's one less thing that you actually have to rely on just to live your life. Now, I'm fortunate enough that I don't really need any medications. My glasses are the only thing that I wear for medication and they are pretty weak anyway. So if I lost them now, for example, I wouldn't really, I could still do everything maybe not drive at night, but I can legally drive in the state of New York. So I'm very fortunate and very lucky that I don't need to rely on medication or anything like, you know, to survive. 
thankfully. I'm very, very lucky, very, very grateful for that. But if you're dependent on caffeine like I am, you're making that choice to be a dependent on it. And if you're in a position where you don't know where you're going to get your next cup, you might have to go from three cups a day to no cups because you're camping or you're somewhere and there's no coffee available. Now you're going to have to deal with the crazy amount of caffeine withdrawal. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm choosing to cut back on caffeine all the way down to just one small cup, one eight ounce cup of coffee that I made homemade here. Because there's going to be times where the coffee is not always going to be available. I know in cities and the modern day there's always going to be caffeine at every single corner you can get it pretty cheap you can pay a lot of money if you go to lower manhattan you want to pay six dollars for a small cup of coffee if that's your thing <laughs> i've done it before believe it or not you never know when you're going to be away from that cup of coffee and if you're away from it for too long it could be very painful and very unpleasant for you so that's one of the main reasons why i actually want to cut back on caffeine. And of course, better sleep, longer sleep, more alertness throughout the day, less bathroom trips, just overall more convenience are all definitely really great reasons as well. And if you do cut back to a minimum amount, for me, that would be just one cup a day. You can get your second cup if it's actually a treat, if you're meeting up with some friends on the weekend, if you're traveling in a city or if you're in Europe and you want to have a second cup, it's not going to be an issue. Whereas if you stay at your three cups, four cups, five cups, that's going to be your normal and now if you're going to have to have five cups every single day in order to feel normal that's not what i would recommend that's not the life that i'd want to live i want to stay at one cup to feel normal and if i'm camping or if i'm on a long flight or if i'm in a position where i can't get a cup of coffee very fast or i have to go a long time without it i'm just going to deal with a little bit of discomfort not a lot of discomfort so I'm going to end the video right there let me know if this helped as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thanks for watching.